Hey guys, my name is Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for stopping back again. And if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. In today's video, I'm just going to be showing you how I would do my makeup if I'm going for a job interview. And some of the things that you know you could look forward to as far as questions, how you should dress. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, and what I have to say then keep on watching please don't forget to like the video share the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on your post notification bell so you'll never miss an upload and I'll see you at the end of the video Okay guys, so as you can see per usual, I did my brows off camera just to save some time because you know the brows are a little stressful and you know you want them to be very neat so you don't want to sit here, you know, extra. So I know you guys already know how to do your brows. If not, I have a video that I can list for you, you know, so you can watch that. Alright, so we're going to be doing our face today if you're going for an interview, um, if you're going for like a business meeting, like, you know, what kind of look you should be going, you know, what kind of look you should, you know, you should do in that case. You don't want it to be over the top. You don't want it to be too extra. You don't want it to be too loud. So I'm just going to go through a few steps with you guys. You want it to look very, very natural and you want to be put together. Okay, so the first thing I did, um, I primed my face. Not I primed, I didn't prime my face yet. I'm going to prime my face. I moisturized my face. I'm used, I used this L'Oreal um, cream here. It's very moisturizing. It says wrinkle expert. You know, we want to keep the wrinkles away for as long as we can. Um, I don't know what's going on with my eye, but it's a little red um, since yesterday. It's a little weird, so, you know. I'm using the Rimmel um, Stay Matte Primer. So, you know, you wanna use, I would use a matte primer just in case. You know, you go for your interview. Most of the time when you go for interviews, no matter what, you're nervous, right? So therefore, you put on a primer, therefore, if you're sweating, like, they won't be able to tell that you're sweating. I've been on plenty of interviews for a job and when I tell you that my sweat, I'm sweating, my underarms are sweating, I'm just sweating, but in my face, they don't know. It's not moving, my face is not moving, my face is not sweating, but everywhere else is sweating. So, prime your face, and I'm, for the foundation today, I'm just going to be using this Juvia's Place I Am Radiance. Don't laugh at me. You can call me ghetto, you can call me whatever you want, you can call me cheap. I am not being cheap, I just haven't had a chance to get one. So, Juvia's Place is basically finished. So you guys, look, I cut off the top. Do you see how much stuff is in there? And I'm going to use it until it's done. So I'm going to use the back of a brush, and I'm just going to go inside and get out some foundation. Put it on my skin. I mean, why not? I could still use it, right? All right, when it comes to the foundation, you don't want to be like too cakey. You just want to have a flawless um, base. So, we're going to do that for now. And I'm going to get me a nice flat brush. Um, let me use this e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. sculpting brush. And I'm just going to Blend that in. I'll give you a couple tips on, you know, when you're going for an interview. Number one, you know your appearance makes a big um, difference. You want to go and get looking all professional. You don't have to wear a suit. If you're a guy, you don't have to wear a suit. You can just wear a nice shirt, a button-up shirt, a tie and a nice white or even a black shirt right just in case i have a guy out there watching this video white or black shirt a nice tie some dress shoes and make sure your hair you have a nice haircut 
if you have locks or anything you want to make sure that your locks are well groomed and tied I would say you know don't have them hanging in your face make sure you tie them up a little bit pin them back put it in a braided style some type of way you know what I mean you know sometimes they already look down on you some people when you have locks in your hair so if you have them you want to make sure that they are well you know they look good keep them neat twist your roots that's what I'm saying okay alrighty now for the females out there if you're going for an interview you don't want to this is what I'm gonna say if you're wearing if you wear wigs weaves you can wear a wig but it would in my preference I think it would look even nicer even if you have natural hair you know you put your hair in a nice ponytail or a nice bun or even a puff you know that you know what I mean but if you're not naturally blonde don't walk up in there with a blonde wig okay I'm sorry that's just how I that's just my preference and th these are just my thoughts but so if you can put your hair even if you want to like blow dry your hair and put it in a nice bun so you know your face will be the center not the hair distracting them you know so I would say get like a nice bun or nice ponytail a nice pullback this is a wig that I have on but I just pinned it back so it won't be in the way but you know what I mean just have your face be the center of the um interviewer you don't want them to be be distracted by anything else so you can wear a nice a black dress or a gray dress or a nude dress nude pants a white shirt white button down shirt you can wear a jacket or you can just wear a nice satin looking shirt you know what I mean just look nice make sure you tuck your shirt in your pants having a nice belt that's what I am thinking Alrighty. Alrighty, now as far as this face, I'm going to be contouring my face with the black radiance. This is like done. I need to get another one. I'm going to have to use a brush to get some of it out. Alright. So wear a nice, you can wear a suit if, a, a pantsuit or a skirt suit if you are a lady. Or for a man, you can wear a suit or just a shirt and tie and, you know, dress it up. Look nice. Just look nice. At first impression makes a big thing, right? Now, now when you go for your interview, right, you want to make sure that you give great, great eye contact you don't want to look away when they're talking to you you know sometimes I, sometimes it's hard for you to just like stare someone in the face but i say try to just look at them in the eye you know if you want to look away a couple times you can but just you know give good eye contact smile if you can even though you're nervous try to smile and for me what i always try to do when i go for interview I try to make whoever, if they, even if it's a panel, normally when I have interviews or the last couple of times, it's like five or six people in the um, room, which is so hard. But, you know, try to crack at least one joke just to lighten up the, um, the room, just to make them laugh, you know, sense of humor. You don't want to be too much, but, you know, give them a little joke and that will help everyone laugh. And then kind of lighten up the mood a little bit. You know? Great eye contact. Great eye contact. Make sure you have a nice resume. A nice resume in a nice folder. And, you know, have it and give it to them. All right? Make sure you speak well. Speak properly. Don't speak like you're speaking to your friends on the street. You have to know how to switch it up. Right? Yeah. So those are my suggestions, are my tips when you have an interview. Alrighty? 
Let me blend out this contour here. And this brush ain't working, okay? You don't want to say ain't. Ain't in the interview. <laughs> like I just said, ain't working. So those are just a few tips. Please don't be late. Don't be late. Do not be late for your interview. That's a no-no. They could decide not to interview you at that point and that's it. Move on to someone else. Don't be late. Please don't be late. If, it, if you're going somewhere and it's far and you've never been there, like the day before or the weekend before or something, you know, take a drive. Take a drive and, you know, just get familiar with where you're going. So when you're going on the actual date of the interview, then you won't be nervous because you don't know exactly where you're going because that can be a little nerve wracking when you don't know where you're going. I hate when I don't know where I'm going. It makes me so nervous and anxious. You know what I mean? So those are just some of my tips. In no way am, am I an expert, but you know, I'm just going from what I know, right? Okay. Please do not go in there with wrinkled clothes. I know for guys, even if you just bought, you bought a shirt and it's still in the packet and you take it out and you know, it has those couple lines, please iron your shirt. I have a big thing. I'm a big, I have a big pet peeve with people that looks wrinkled. I'm so sorry. It's just the way I grew up. I ironed my uniform when I was going to school. Even though a lot of schools don't wear uniform now. So, you know, iron your clothes. Please go in there looking well groomed. Please iron your clothes. Okay? Iron your clothes. You want to make a good impression, right? Yeah. Iron is a must. I iron everything, but that's just me. I'm not saying that you have to, but if you're going for an interview, you want to make sure you put in effort that day to iron. Okay? All right. All right, I think I'm done chatting. Okay, people, so now I'm just blending up my concealer. The concealer that I'm using is the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. And I'm just blending it out. I mean, you still want to, you don't necessarily have to wear makeup, but you know, I think it just makes you look more professional, put together. If it's some, even if it's just something very, very light, you don't have to go in there with lashes that day. If you don't want to, I don't think lashes are a no-no, but they have to be very light. It can't be too big. It can't look like you're getting ready to fly. No. Please. Get some lashes that are natural looking. Definitely. That makes, to me, you need to have stuff that looks, it's almost like it's yours. Okay, I'm just blending out my contour. Now, I'm going to set my face and I'm going to be using my triangular sponge. I purchased a pack from Amazon. I need to order some more. I don't know, can you wash these? I don't know if you can wash them. Alrighty, so I'm putting the powder on here and I'm just gonna top off the excess amount on the back of my hand. You want to make sure that you don't have any creasing before you start setting the concealer. All right. Don't forget to get the side of your nose. Set your smile lines, always. All I'm saying is, don't go into the interview. If you weren't born with the hair color, and if it's not your natural hair, I would prefer if you wear your natural hair, but if you you don't, please don't go in there with green hair 
or blue hair. Save that for the weekend. You know what I mean? Especially if it's a professional job. Now, if you're going for an interview for maybe like a hairstylist or something, possible maybe you could wear color, colored hair and they will just say, oh, you know, it's a personality. But if it's a professional job, don't go in there with blue hair or green hair. Or if you're going to wear a wig, try to wear a natural color. You know what I mean? All right. Those are just my tips. Not an expert. I'm just going by my experiences. Alrighty. So now I'm going to get this fluffy brush and I'm just going to dip it in the powder and just set my concealer that I have under my eye. let my lid wasn't blended out enough this look is going to be very 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 simple all right we're not going to be doing any big eyeshadow so i'm going to use this morphe supernatural glow palette has a lot of neutral colors in there and I have been using it so I'm just gonna take this um, I'm going to mix this dark brown here and this lighter brown here this one and this one and I'm just going to pop that over my eye and get a smaller brush and I'm just going to pop it here you don't want to look like you did too much, but you want to look like, you know, I tried, okay? Alrighty, and all I'm doing is just blending this out. No big eyeshadow here. And I like to take mine to the front of my brow here. I think this brush needs to be a little fluffier. I'm going to use the same brush that I was using to blend out my concealer over my underneath my eye. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's so gloomy outside guys. Oh my goodness. I thought it was going to be some sun today but nope. Okay. See, just a little, just a little wash of color. It's not too much, right? Like I said, I like to bring mine into my nose contour. You know, you want to maybe look up some interview questions like a sample of what questions they can ask you they always ask so what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses almost all they ask that question what are your strong points what are your weak points you know so be prepared for that question i believe they will ask you that one that's it that's my that's my take on going for a job interview. Be very punctual when you go in. You want to greet them. You want to shake everyone's hand when you go in, and when you shake their hand, you want to make sure you look them in the eye. 
Don't look away. Even if you're shy, look them in the eye, okay? I'm gonna use this pencil brush and I'm going to use the same two colors and I'm just going to smoke out the lash line just a little bit. All I'm doing to the eyes, and now I'm going to get my um, NYX eyeliner. Guys, now I'm going to set my face. I'm using the NYX uh, matte in chestnut deep. I'm just using a fluffy brush. I'm just going to get another brush. I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to brush off the powder from underneath my eye. Kind of push it in at the same time. Like that. All right, guys, I'm going to set my contour using this um, Fruits Cosmetics Contour Palette. I owe you guys a video with this. I'm just going to take um, this brush and I'm just going to dip it into the into this one and just, you know, runs up the face a little bit. You want to make sure that this face does not move. You don't want your nose contour to be too strong. So, what I'm going to do is use the lighter color, which is this one, to set my nose contour. If my brush will not disappear on me. You want everything to be nice and soft right all right that's good enough let's put on some blush foods cosmetics blush palette you guys have seen this and I'm gonna use the orangey looking color and I'm gonna use this brush Put it on my cheeks. I love this brush. Blush. You don't want to go in with like a pink blush. You don't want anything that's too loud. You know what I mean? Hey, if you guys have any tips and tricks that you can share when you go for an interview, you can leave them in my comment section. Maybe I'm missing something, you know what I mean? All right. Blush is set. Uh, now I'm going to use my Mac O Darling Crumbled Up. Someone told me to use alcohol. And I can set it back, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to use this brush. 
and uh, I'm gonna set put on some highlight not too much you know just a little bit of oh just drop one just a little bit of glow all right I'm gonna get a pencil brush this one and I'm just going to put a tad in my inner corner not too loud like I said if you're gonna wear lashes don't get anything that's like too dramatic right please don't I don't think that's a good look for an interviewer so I'm just putting this nose highlight just a little bit in the top today's not the day when you want to over highlight your face I'm gonna try to make it very soft All right just right there that's right there and a little bit on the tip and then blend it out with your finger and that's how we're looking we're gonna um, put on some mascara oh before I continue let me set my face that was a no-no I'm using the NYX primer spray always put on your mascara after you put on your setting spray um I don't know if I'm gonna put on lashes just to be extra so I'll put on some lashes so I can show you that if you have to wear the lashes what type you can wear okay all right guys we're just about finished put on mascara down here Clean up this nose contour here. All right, so I'm gonna go throw on some lash if you because some people they feel like they have to wear it. If you have to wear it, then I'll show you one that you can wear. Okay. Okay, guys. So these are the lashes that I put on. They're not too much, I don't think. If you have to wear them, just wear something very um very very um natural um my eyes are still red but i don't know what's going on with that um i did put on like a nice little silky shirt with some you know shoulder pads so you can wear a shirt like this with some dress pants if you want to put a sweater over it or a jacket like a open up button up front sweater you could put it over it or a cardigan and you know dress shoes you don't have to be too high make sure that they're appropriate not the clear ones with the the heel this high that's another tip um you know nice dress shirt if you're gonna wear um earrings make sure that they're not too too much like these tiny ones that i have very dainty and then you just put on some lip gloss or some lipstick some natural lipstick i would prefer or i would suggest natural lipstick so i'm just using this brown pencil not too bright This one might be a little bright for me today. I'm just gonna go over that with my um, my my a darker brown one. 
just a little bit. All right, for today, I'm just going to use my Juvia's Place um, Lady Lipstick. Nice nude color. You can wear a gloss, but for today, um, I'm not going to put a gloss on. So keep it nice and natural and simple. You can wear like a nice um, dainty necklace. I can't find mine right now. So this is how I would put myself together. I just put my, you know, push my hair so it's not distracting my hair it's off my, you know, it's off my neck, off my face. So this is how I would do my hair. You know, make sure it's not too, too much. You can wear a jacket if you want or a button-up shirt. But I just put on this silky shirt because it was easy. I'm not going to show you my bottoms because they're not work appropriate right now. But you know what to put on, okay? If you're not sure, you can look up a video or some pictures on Pinterest on how to dress for an interview. So that's my, um, that's my look today, guys. I hope that you enjoy it's my natural face that my eyes are really really red right now and I don't know why but that's what I would do to my face if I'm going for interview not too much still natural it looks like you try but not too hard okay okay ladies and gentlemen so we have come to the end of the video I hope that you enjoy watching I hope that I gave you some great tips and I hope I you know the makeup that I did I hope that you think it's um, interview appropriate I want you guys to you know leave me some comments down in the comment section let me know what you think of the look do you think I gave some good tips or anything that you can add okay so I hope that this video was helpful to you in some way um, if it was helpful don't forget to share it with a friend give the video a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel and also turn on your post notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you next time Take care of yourself and each other. Bye guys